Hello, this is Dr. Tom Gruber from Boulder Chiropractic Clinic, and I'd like to talk to you about what happens when you fall in your butt. Now, uh, for those of us who think that you're, we're healthy when we don't break anything or uh, we're not bleeding or um, we're not, we don't have an infection, uh, this is particularly important to hear. So when you, when you, let me show you uh, what, what you're falling on when you fall on your butt. So this is my spine, model of my spine, and um, of a spine. And here we have some sitz bones. These are called ischial tuberosities. Uh, they're at the base of each of your ilia. So an ilium over here, an ilium over here. Uh, and uh, they join together here at the pubic symphysis at this uh, fibrocartilaginous uh, joint, a little plug like a disc, and then uh, here. And this is your sacrum. This is a triangular type of a bone that is at the base of your spine. So your spine joins your ilium here and your ilium here at your sacroiliac joint. Now your sacroiliac joint has uh, cartilage in it and it has uh, ligaments that surround the joint capsule to, so it holds uh, synovial fluid inside. And then on top of that there are some really tough ligaments that hold all of this together called uh, sacroiliac ligaments. Now, uh, when you fall on your butt and land uh, in a way which is hard enough to override the strength of these sacroiliac ligaments, your ilia can misalign in, its, in relation to the sacrum. And there are different ways this can happen. Uh, it actually takes quite a bit of expertise to be able to figure this out and and to treat it properly but one of the ones that I see so frequently here in the office that goes unrecognized and untreated and therefore can turn into some pretty severe uh, difficulties is what we call a, a superior shear of the sacrum the sacroiliac joint a superior shear of the ilium so what happens is you land on one side and it pushes that ilium up towards your head. So it goes push like that and then gets stuck there. Uh, another possibility would be the same thing would happen on the other side. But in some rare, more rare cases, uh, both of them get punched up simultaneously. Bam, like this. And I've seen that actually uh, I can think of a case where um, a young man had um, finished his service in the army and uh, was having a lot of difficulties, and it, it and I found this on him, um, and it, it turned out that he had uh, been a special forces guy and jumped out of helicopters with a, a heavy pack, and I'm thinking heavier than 60 pounds a rifle and a radio all right so landing like that I mean I'm sure they learn how to drop but uh, landing on both feet BAM it could knock that pelvis right up uh, also there's a rotational potential for the pelvis it can torque back or torque forward or flare in or out like that um, but let's talk about this a moment so when this happens, when your pelvis misaligns, then there's quite a bit of uh, potential for pain. Uh, these uh, misalignments may go for quite some time without pain. You may notice that there's stiffness. Maybe if you have it on one side, you might notice that, that it just feels a little what people call wonky on one side. Maybe also you... Um, you notice that when you go to stretch, that you can stretch further on the opposite side. The one side is tighter than the other. So in any case, you can have uh, just kind of minor symptoms like 
a little bit of restriction in your ability to stretch. But then you could even have searing pain in your low back that makes you really afraid, like maybe you're going to need surgery. Uh, you could have pain that runs down the, your butt and down into your legs, like often called sciatic pain or sciatica. So it can create a lot of weakness in your hip muscle strength. And uh, you know what will happen also is your pelvis, your, your pelvic structure, your region here, um, is the base of support for your spine. So what will happen is that when that misalignment, hap when that happens, it'll jam and torque your sacrum into that, into the, into the uh, pelvis, and that will create instability for your spine. So then what sits on top of that can all be distorted because of that misalignment. And then you add this to low back misalignments um, and um, you add that to a pubic symphysis misalignment at the same time, which often happens, and maybe even a hip socket misalignment where your, you know, your, your ball and socket joint responds by turning in and getting stuck or turning out too much and getting stuck. So these things all can happen simultaneously or at different times building one upon another and you can end up in quite a complex situation uh, where it will actually be very difficult for people to understand what's going on and how to treat you. So I recommend that you, uh, if you fall on your butt and you have uh, any kind of symptoms for more than just a short time uh, that you get this checked by someone who's very highly qualified to check it and treat it. And what I would say is that if there's a period of time where you've been treated and you still have chronic low back, hip, leg, you know, pain or stiffness, uh, you, you might want to try someone else, okay? Because uh, if these things are treatable, uh, the pelvis can be realigned, all the components of the pelvis, and uh, everything can be strong and flexible, and you can be fluid in your motion and pain-free. Okay, so uh, if there's anything more about this you'd like to know, let me know, and I'll talk more about it. Or if you have something else you'd like to hear about, please let me know. Thanks.